I'm with the Toro Federal Pueblo Collective, and we've been very closely involved with this struggle for justice uh, for the community and for Robert Ramirez specifically. And and we've just been standing alongside them. Uh, that's really the least we can do. Uh, this is a beautiful city. It's 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 really a hidden gem here in California. A lot of people don't know that, but. You know, it's filled with hardworking, patient people, and it has major issues like a lot of cities, but here, they're, they're very clear. One of those is police brutality, it's police abuse. It's something that has long existed in this community, that's no secret. As I recalled, your police spokesperson said they didn't use no type of weapons, no lasers, they didn't even hurt my son. Well, before he was handcuffed, no, he didn't have anything on his body. He didn't, he wasn't hurt. He had meth in his system. After he was handcuffed and sitting down, that's what he looked like. And if you can't make arrests, then I want the Attorney General involved. We'd rather lose money for the city, but some have some kind of protection for our kids and our citizens.